Hi guys and welcome back to another video game with Paris. I'm Jake. I'm Sierra. And welcome back to another episode of Sierra Reacts. Uh, this is your first time joining us for a video like this. Basically Sierra is going to be giving her reaction uh, to different games that I have backed on Kickstarter and GameFound. Alright? Uh, today, yeah, lots of games. Uh, today we got two games. Uh, that we are going to unbox right here. Um, and so these are pretty small games. I have a good feeling as to what they are. We decided to clump the two of these together. Well, I, I decided that I think it would be best to just clump these two together. Number one, we have a crap ton of games <laughs> that we have yet to old box. I got yeah, a nice... pile. Three or four over uh, four. That's four. That's four over there. And then these three, so what's this? <laughs> six. And we got more on the way coming. Um, like some, some next week. Nice. I'll yeah, yeah, you. some next week. Um, but uh, I decided to do these together. These are two smaller games, whichever one you want to go first. Two smaller games, and so let's go ahead and uh, and dive right in and let her uh, get into it. And then once she gets the actual game out, uh, we'll go ahead and move this other camera, and she mm. can and she can go from there. But I'm curious to see what she's going to think about these games. Uh, she's having a difficult time opening the uh, the box. They got that thing extremely super packaged up. Yeah, I can't go. Um, so, <laughs> let me see here. Um, just rip it. Rip it, it open. Uh, it. Yeah, I'm just ripping it open. But uh, yeah. we're going to do something a little... Uh... Oh, I was going backwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we're going to... Let me bring the other camera out. Oh, I know this one. Because this is off of our... Um, which one got back? Today? Yes, yes. Uh, so, this is uh, Mandala Mind, uh, the uh, card game here. So we're gonna do things a little different, guys. Normally, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I take over a little bit and uh, really don't give the opportunity for Sierra to give her reaction. And so I usually talk about the game and things beforehand, but I want to do things giving her uh, actual reaction. And so I'm not really gonna say anything unless she asks me a question and I'm gonna let her look at the box, read the box, give her thoughts and opinions on uh, what she thinks is going on. So we're gonna go ahead and take it over to Sierra right now. Wait, I don't like doing all the talking. What are you talking about? <clears throat> and I've been sick, so my voice is a little... Oh. Um, so it says, in Mandala Mind, the card game you play is the frame of mind of a person who is meditating on an image of a mandala. This person is distracted at the beginning of their meditation and your goal is to help them focus. Once focus has been achieved, you will have succeeded in bringing them into the joy of the present moment. One to two players, 30 minutes, okay. Okay, let's open it. The beauty of this, while she opens it, I can actually... I don't wanna rip the box. Yeah, it does look interesting. Okay. Whoa, okay. Interesting thoughts. I like that. It's great. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see everything. But we've got a one little single yellow meeple. Rules pulled out. Okay. And then I'm assuming just all the different cards. This is hard because I don't know what these are. <laughs> I don't know what they are either. Yeah. I have no clue. That's why I'm like... I guess these are the patterns. I think, yeah, I think those might be the patterns of... Warm-up phase, practice phase. Peace, joy. I yeah, maybe I don't those know are yet. the patterns you're supposed to you put them into. Uh, so it's, it's, a it's a cooperative game um, that you're going to be working together. But uh, what do you think so far about the artwork, the, the presentation of the game? It is very calming looking, like the, like I think that goes with the theme of the game. It's very pretty and just very muted colors. Um, so I, I think it's really cool. Oh, there's a camera. Nice. I'm going to leave that out so we can look through it. Oh, here's another. It's um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I knew it was gonna be a small game, but it's like nice and compact, like a good. So we've got a 
Sorry, I didn't mean to. Well, I was gonna say it's good, like a good travel game. Yeah, I think so too. We got a mandala reference, two of them, and then the back side, the one's a turn reference and one's an end of round reference. So I like that. I always like having these on hand. So it looks like when using mandala ability, refer to the color, shape, and keyword to know how the ability can be used. Okay, so we saw those, right? Yeah. I know what those are. Over here. I'm guessing. So cool. All right. Well, this is Mandala Mine. All right, so I backed this uh, on Kickstarter for fourteen dollars. Oh, nice. So, based upon what you have seen here, for the fourteen bucks, if just we'll just go just presentation alone, right? You haven't you haven't seen the game yet. You haven't actually played it. Based upon just the presentation and what you've got to see so far, if you had the opportunity to back it for fourteen bucks, would you? Would you have backed this game? Yeah, I think so. Right. Um, I think it's, I mean, it's $14. I mean, relative to your state of income, income and yeah. finances and everything. Um, but for us, $14 is a bargain on games. Yeah. And a card game, two player game, we love um, co op. Maybe I wouldn't have chosen a co op. <laughs> I do like co ops too, though. I mess with him. Um, we like to be competitive in nature together. But yeah. Uh, one thing, so I found in the rule books a gameplay overview so we can get a better understanding. Yeah. Um, we so go. we're going to be playing this game over a series of rounds where you will move a pawn around a three by three grid of mandala cards. So we were looking at the mandala cards. Um, Removing distractions using frame of mind actions and mandala abilities. Before each game, you will choose a scenario to play. Okay, so we saw the scenario cards too, I think. Uh, yeah. I those ones, but here we are. Yeah. Like breath awareness. Here's a scenario. Uh, <clears throat> and it says each scenario has two phases that have different goals for you to complete. You win the game by achieving optimal focus at scenario-specific mandalas in the warm-up phase and by removing all distraction from every mandala in the meditation phase. So it sounds really interesting. Something different, not like other games we've played. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like small and compact. I like it. Good Sweet. choice. All right. Yep. That's why I backed it. It was, it was cheap. It was, <laughs> it was unique. And I don't mean cheap in a way of but the production is cheap. Um, or looked cheap, but it was a, it was a small, very cheap game, um, and for 14 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. It looks unique. I like how everything is like there, and then you just button it back up, and <laughs> and there is the little. Let me. I'll show them on camera. So I like how the box like folds within itself, and then you just slide it back in there if I can. Yep, got it. Boom. And then there is the box. So this is Mandala Mind, the card game. This is designed by Alex Beers, which are art and graphic design by Saskia de Clerc. All right, this is from Green Ground Games. Green Gourd Games. Green Gourd uh, Games, LLC. All right, that's Mandala Mind. All right, let's bust out uh, the next one here. So, all of our, hold on. Yeah. Can do it over here. Do it off camera, yeah. <laughs> it has all of our uh, tracking info. <laughs> Um, Actually, old tracking info because we've moved since. Yeah, yeah. We got this. Um, so we got Mandala Mine, right? We got a lot of games we've been working through. We got to get these games Customs busted. Customs declaration. Yeah, this is a custom, so it's coming internationally. So we'll see uh, what I think this one is. This one's going to be funny. This one was not so much a back for me or you. I just thought. The theme of this was hilarious. Is it lobster pot? I want some lobster pot. You did back lobster pot. I did back lobster pot, yes. We haven't gotten it in yet, right? No, we have not. I don't even think it's shipped yet. Oh. Unfortunately. All right. All right, let's show the people what it is. What is this? Seven deadly dice. It's good to be bad. Oh, okay. Oops, sorry. There we go. Seven deadly dice. It's good to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You must be. Um, okay. 
have a terrible deed you need to get off your chest maybe you laughed at an old lady falling down or kicked a pigeon in the park never confess your crimes and your and sin your way to victory <laughs> seven deadly dice is a two to six player game for the worst of us collect dice and complete hidden sinful objectives in order to be crowned the most awful with a rapid in order to be crowned the most awful i couldn't see the period with a rapid play style and sneaky player versus player mechanics, this game of skill, luck, and complete lack of moral fiber will reveal the greediest, the laziest, and the most envious of all. As I had just mentioned how competitive we are. Oh, great. <laughs> Two to six players, 20 to 45 minutes. All right. It looks like it comes from Calm Storm Games. Did I read that right? Yeah, that's right. Game. All right, all right. All right, so Seven Deadly Dice. Yes, uh, definitely back this uh, because I thought the theme was hilarious. I do enjoy dice games. Yeah, I uh, like dice games too. I do enjoy dice games, and um, I thought the theme was funny. This is kind of like a uh, nice little rule exploding, oh. exploding kittens type. You know, give me that exploding kittens yeah. type feel. All of... So there's some cards in here too. Yeah, yeah. I love those just little leaflet roll books. That's good. Okay. Ooh, lots dice. of dice. I got all those colors. Yeah. Those are two color dice. Those are like one big dungeon dice. I can't get them all. <laughs> that is a lot of dice right there. Okay, and then we have a lot of looks like final confession cards. Let's cool. take some of these out. Might want to, uh, I, I do believe that uh, one of the stretch goals was a not safe for work stretch goal. So you might want to be careful. <laughs> we'll show you some of them, but we're going to look at them first off camera before we can. Uh, it looks like there's different kind of cards. Confirm. Got some final confession cards. Okay. All right. Yep. So a bunch of final confession. Separate these in this deck. I can't figure out what the last final confession is. We got it. Like a weird feel to it. I don't know what it is. It's like a. They're like thick, but it's like. They're like kind of sticking on each other. So he's looking through the final confession. Here's some confession cards. Let's see all a good number of those as well. Let me see the end of that. There's confession. We'll look through those in a second. <laughs> These are funny. Can I have a show one? <laughs> Hold on, we'll get there. <laughs> he's a, he tries to jump the gun. There's a reason why. We got some white dice cards. And then here's more of those. Black dice cards. Okay. So you want to look at your final confession cards first? Oh, <laughs> uh, you're so bad. Just, yeah, this is this. Is, okay. Well, we'll go with uh, some pretty, some pretty solid. All right. Final confession. Here we go. Twenty-five plus. I take Amazon parcels from Amazon. Okay. Final confession. Twenty-five plus. I take Amazon parcels from outside other people's homes. Twenty-five plus. I take Amazon parcels from outside other people's homes. Terrible. <laughs> I hate anyone that does that. <laughs> Next one here, next one here. I robbed my neighbors when I knew they'd be on holiday. Oh no. You can't do that to a neighbor. Oh man, that's, that's, some of these are pretty, some of these are kind of inappropriate. I just don't wanna, <laughs> this one's pretty bad. Uh, all right, I stole the money my mom gave me to give to the church. Uh oh. Boom, boom, boom. Uh -huh. All right, final confession. Show some confession cards. Let me just take a second and see if they're. Huh. I don't wash my hands after using the toilet. Hmm. Is that, that a truth card? You wash your hands. <laughs> he, I, he, I, he I, kick, I kick pigeons. I kick pigeons. Oh no. I pooped the fifth on that one. That's so funny. That's a man thing. Some of these are funny. I wore the same underwear for four days in a row. Oh, gross. 
No, no. Confession cards. All right. Hygiene is important. Let's take some of these. What we got? Thievery. Thievery. Steal two dice of choice from your other player. Oh, that's fun. Thievery. What else we got? Envy. Envy. That's funny. Gluttony. Gluttony. Just extra bonus cards. Thievery again. Rapture. Rapture. Okay. Doomsday. Doomsday. Alright, alright, alright. You wanna go with the last the last deck right there? You wanna sure. prove them? We got some white dice cards. Okay, prove. That's funny. Ooh, that's perfect. Yep. This says center center chicken dinner. Here it says cost is seven dice total, one of each color. Negative two roll requirement for confections. And wrathful. Um, if you successfully cheat, also destroy another player's completed confession. Pretty funny. I was just going through those ones because those are the same. Yeah. Seven deadly sins. Yeah. They're pretty cool. And then some kind of order cards. All right. So, thoughts on seven deadly dice? You need this still? Yeah, we do not need this anymore, actually. Um, thoughts on this game? I think it's, I think it's funny. It's gonna be goofy. I think it's gonna be better with more players. Yeah. Um, I know we tend to like a lot of two-player games, but we do like getting together with friends. I think this will be a hilarious one with a group of friends. Yeah. So, but with the two of us. I do think it'll be fun though. Yeah, essentially what I was reading is basically like the confession cards all have like a number on them, like 10 plus or 25 plus, and you're just trying to roll with your dice to complete a certain number of confessions before you get to the final confession. And then like you have those other cards to like steal or like, mm -hmm. you know, take that from other people. All right, so that uh, is Seven Deadly Dice. I backed this on Kickstarter for 25 bucks. Okay, I think that's good cost for it. I do think this is gonna be a little bit of a take that game. Yeah. <laughs> Which we like, like they're fun. Yeah, no, but I think it's like in you got to clean your palate after with something friendly. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like in that same realm of like exploding kittens, yeah, unstable yeah. unicorns. All right, so this is Seven Deadly Dice coming to you from uh, Calm Storm Games, and uh, yeah, so that is the whole video, guys. Look, those are two quick games. Uh, that we came in, Mandala Mine, Seven Deadly Dice. They are very opposite. <laughs> very, very <laughs> kind of game. Calm, aggressive, calm, aggressive. Yeah. Uh, so, you, you liked both, right? Do I get the approval thumbs up on both of these for these yeah. two good backs? I think so. Good backs. All right, guys. I guess, as always, if you like this content, uh, please go ahead and drop a like for us. That's really going to help us out. And if you really want to support us, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel so we can keep providing you guys more awesome content. I can keep backing more games and things like that. And we can give you our opinions and thoughts on those. All right, guys, as always, y'all have a great one. Bye. Bye.